prepared I'm feeling glad I got sunshine In a bag I'm useless He was a cart cartoonist and I was a musician so we put the two together. Images and music together I've always thought that the two things were kind of meant to be together and when they're done properly um, with good music and good images then it's really powerful. We were watching uh, MTV a lot and um, that was a time when there were a lot of manufactured bands and we felt that um, that they were all shit and that surely if you manufacture something then you should be able to do it properly. So we decided we'd create a cartoon band because um, there so, were no cartoon bands. No, and, and, <laughs> and, and it would allow us to just do things which you could never do um, if you were a physical band, you know? Yeah, we could experiment. So we did the first album and a lot of people weren't really believing in it and we had a lot of negativity from the press and uh, you know people in the music industry, but then it was a huge success, so we did another one. And then which was an even bigger success. It was an even bigger success and then we realized and then everyone that started <laughs> working with collaborators and doing animated cartoon videos and that was and then the internet happened and then that, that's where we are now. We used to like Mad Magazine, I used to like uh, Chuck Jones animation, Hanna-Barbera, Japanese, I mean I don't know, I, I grew up in the 70s so there was a lot of animation. just uh, indul indulging our wildest fantasies of which Robert Smith and Elton John definitely uh, you know tick that box. Gorillas and Elton John and Black together is a, an unusual mix but it worked. Yeah. I mean every, 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 every uh, tune is a dream come true really. The point with Gorillas is, is that anything is possible I think I think that's the point you know don't know where it's going, that's the exciting thing about it. We first met when um, I used to work for a magazine called Deadline. Oh yes, we did. And we interview. did an interview with Blur. I didn't know Damon, and we were in a pub getting drunk. Damon showed up and instantly disliked me <laughs> and wouldn't really talk to me. In fact, we didn't get on for like 10 years. Every time we saw each other, yeah. we didn't like each other much. And he wasn't, I don't know, we just didn't. We were, we were like, go. We were quite clashed quite a lot, but then we suddenly found common interests and been great mates ever since. So we didn't, we didn't talk for years and then, um, and then we both separated from the women that we were with and found ourselves homeless and uh, so we decided to move into an apartment together in West London. We had a lot of parties, we were like 30, 30 years old, we had a lot of parties for a year. Um, did some crazy stuff, you know, like you do when you're 30. And then we created gorillas while we were living in the apartment. So we're very lucky. And you know, hopefully it'll be an amazing 20 years to come. <laughs>